Hello everybody and welcome to the case of the month series from Hajjatepe University. Uh, this month we have a patient in the female patient patient uh, in her 20s and he she had she had a gluteal mass and we see the core biopsies from this mass. So the tumor is composed of clefts and trabecules, maybe maybe some uh, sheet-like areas here, and some of them may form some islands. Here there are some clefts uh, infiltrating the hyalinized fibrotic uh, background. So this mess superficially re uh, resembles sclerosing rhabdomyosarcoma or alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma at some part, but Desmin was negative. So when we, when we come closer, we see that these cells have a monotonous nucleo nucleolus nuclei with uh, small but prominent in some of them uh, um, small but prominent nucleoli at least prominent in some of the some of the cells here and cytoplasm was uh, clear to eosinophilic I mean some of the cells were ha ha had uh, uh, eosinophilic cytoplasm and some of them had clear cells and there was another clue for the diagnosis and it was here so the cells are accompanied by osteoclast like giant cells so in a soft tissue mass in a uh, young female with this morphology one should order order of course s100 so the, the cells were um, S100 positive. Actually, it's not it's not so strong, but uh, it's convincing because we have we have also the nuclear expression here. And I mean, it's not it's not a diffuse and strong pattern. as you see here but it is <coughs> the the expression is supported by sux10 which which is diffuse and strongly positive and of course and after we ordered melan a again with very focal positivity if you buy it let me let me show the whole biopsy here this is this is not so convincing again but here we have at least some positivity and but HMB 45 again is really good for the I mean this is this is positive clearly positive so we ordered an EWS uh, one fish uh, test and as you see here we have 
positivity actually uh, we have we have the separation of the signals so uh, fish EWSR fish was positive for break apart and therefore the diagnosis is clear cell sarcoma uh, of tendon and aponeurosis uh, these tumors are also called melanoma soft parts and they are characterized by EWSR uh, ATF1 or CREV1 uh, translocations and um, the important feature of this tumor they are they are seen uh, in young adults of distal extremities but gluteal region is also a good place for this tumor I had two cases like this and the other important thing is there are no melanistic proliferation uh, and actually there there are no uh, inter in there no there's no relation between epidermis and the tumor so that's why it's called a tendon and aponeurosis and for the further information you can just check out the uh, review of uh, me and Dr. Andrew Fulp uh, and here's the here's the link thank you very much and bye